I'm going to give you a tour on how to add your first server to Teleport and steps for getting tokens and automating setup. For new users, the easy way to get started is with our install script. This script will download Teleport, install it, and provide the initial setup and correct tokens. To get started, I'll click Add Server using Automagically. I'll copy the snippet. I have a fresh ease 2 host here, which I'm going to copy and paste it and get it connected. Teleport is now installed in my box. Since I've added a EC2 host, I'll have to make sure that I have the correct principle on my role. AWS defaults to the EC2 user host, so I'm going to add that now. I can now use Teleport to access my host. Here, I'm accessing Teleport using the web UI, but I could also use TSH, which is our command line tool. Now I have a running node, let's add a few labels to it. Labels can be added using teleport.yaml, and we'll modify this. Now we've updated it, I'll restart the teleport system D process. These labels have now been updated. You can use these to learn more about the servers and also combine them with RBAC rules to limit access to specific hosts. Now we've added one server, let's add more. To take this further, we'll dive into what you need to add servers at scale. This will ultimately depend upon how you roll out your infrastructure and automation. But at a high level, there are two core components. First, you'll need to install Teleport on the host. We have a range of options for downloading and installing Teleport. You can visit our downloads page, but you can also use our DEB or RPM repos to set this up more easily. The next step is to make sure that these servers get enrolled in Teleport using an invite token. We recommend using short-lived join tokens. These are created using tcuddle. Tcuddle is a powerful admin tool that can be used to perform administrative actions on the cluster. I'm going to create a new token. We recommend using short-lived join tokens, but to get started, I'll bump it to one year. This token can only be used for the initial join handshake with Teleport. Now Teleport is installed, we're going to start Teleport with this join token. You can now see that the second server has been added to Teleport. If you ever want to revoke token, you can use tcuddle again. First, let's see all the tokens that are available using tcuddle ls. If you want to remove that token, you can just use tcuddle rm and select the token. These steps should be enough to get you started. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please reach out to us on our discussion forum.